Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. You know us best for those big spray drones, automated drones that spray your field. But shouldn't there be other things on your farm that are automated, like your tractors, your combines, your sprayers, your fertilizer trucks? Well, what happens when you have an older system, an older tractor that you can't get auto steer on? A system like this. This is the HD Tech 408 Auto Steer System, a system that is affordable enough and easy enough to use to put on almost literally any piece of equipment. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing and show you guys what comes in the box and talk a little bit about um, how this system works. Let's do it. So this is what you're gonna get with the HD Tech 408 Auto Steer. Everything's gonna be in the box minus some flanges. We'll get to those later. So here we have some instruction manuals. And then we've got our wiring harnesses. It's like really high quality on these wiring harnesses waterproof connections, everything is labeled, tell you where it needs to go. And here we have our touch screen. Let me go ahead and open this up so you guys can see what that looks like. This is your monitor, your in-cab monitor. There you can see we have a mounting bracket, adjustable positions on this. Connections on the back, all rubberized. Pull those off and there you see they're all labeled connections uh, to go into your wiring harnesses. Now this system is, should be IP6X uh, rating. So waterproof and dustproof. So you should be able to put this on an open cab tractor even. Here we should have our GPS antenna. There you go. Uh, this would mount on top of your cab um, or if it's an open cab tractor, just the highest point um, there on top of your tractor. Put this in the center and there you can see we have rubberized protected connection there go from our wiring harness um, to our screen. Uh, 3M adhesive, uh, you can also magnetically couple this, and then you do have uh, bolt uh, attachments as well to uh, securely mount this. Our inside here, we're gonna have some of our other components, including additional wiring harness here. This should be the wiring harness actually for your globe. And then here looks like wiring harness and mount for our antenna. The antenna should be in here somewhere. All right, these look like our brackets for our steering, uh, for, our, for our wheel, which is right here, which is the main piece of the puzzle. So how do you do auto steer on a tractor that does not have hydraulically driven auto steer? Well, that's with a whole entire new wheel. This right here, there's a big motor uh, in this wheel. And then right there, there are flanges that actually go in uh, to the center and bolt on to this unit. That flange is going to mount to your existing steering uh, column and fit right on there. And then you were gonna use these brackets here to actually attach that uh, to the outside of your steering, col steering column and hold your motor in place while your wheel turns automatically. All right, let's check under where the steering wheel was at. There we go. So here's all the rest of our parts. There we have a bunch of uh, mounting screws, self tappers, bolts, uh, actually adhesives for strapping down your wire, U-bolts for uh, clamping uh, your different pieces on. <laughs> Zip ties even. You don't even have to use your own zip ties. Uh, here is our antenna. 
So this would be basically these two pieces here are gonna be for your positioning, uh, getting your RTK signal and then your GPS positioning here. And right here is going to be our gyroscope. Now you don't have to use this, uh, but this is going to mount on your steering knuckle, uh, basically, you know, right next to your front wheel. Uh, you would mount this with one of these three uh, uh, mounting holes here. That way it can sense the actually steering and angle of your front axle. You don't have to use this, but it makes it a little bit more accurate. And we have an FPV camera or a dash cam. This can be mounted to the front, to the back, over the cab. You can get an extension for this cord and actually mount this on your implement itself. And I believe there should be actually two spots to mount the camera. Let's check back here. Yeah, there we go. We've got camera one and camera two. So it comes with one camera. You can put a second camera on there that we can monitor your, you know, the front of your equipment and the back of your of your implement. Really nice, I think this would be really nice for, even if you're not using the auto steer system in and of itself, if you just have the camera side uh, for um, an auger cart, that way you can actually put one up on the outside of the spout and look into you know, the semi or whatever you're dumping into, that would be really nice. All right, here we have some electrical tape just to tape a few things together. Uh, here we have another clamp. So this would be used with your U-bolts um, to mount your steering on. There's a couple different ways you can mount your steering wheel on. Yep, this is going to be our attitude sensor. So this actually goes inside the cab on the floor, kind of on the front right side of the cab. You just mount this to the bottom of the cab. And this is actually gonna sense the angle so if your cab's tilting this way, it's gonna know that the angle of your tractor, the back of your tractor, uh, is slightly left or slightly right or forward or down, and that's gonna affect basically how um, the system's going to respond and try to keep you on your AB line as, um, as accurately as possible. You do need to install this. You don't need to install this. Looks like some more brackets in here. Yep, there we go. So right here, if you have a, a round uh, steering column, you can use uh, this bracket um, along with this, and that is going to attach to the bottom side of your wheel. That way it keeps your wheel nice and straight on your steering column. Screwdriver. Okay, let's make sure that we haven't missed anything in here. Yep, there we go, shut everything out. Okay, let's spread it out. We have our wheel, our monitor, GPS and RTK antennas, attitude sensor. Uh, we have our gyroscope for our front axle, our different brackets here. So these brackets, we've actually mounted one of these um, on a little John Deere tractor um, that had just a plastic housing around our steering column. We were still able to attach this even to that with this, uh, with these two um, brackets here. We've had guys put this on a John Deere Gator uh, with those two brackets. Camera, another mounting system here. All the rest of our hardware, all of our cables. And then lastly, so this right here, this right here is everything that you get in the box. But as I mentioned, we have to have an adapter, um, a collar or a flange to actually attach this to your steering shaft on your, on your tractor or your truck or your gator or whatever you're putting this on. So here you can see, I pulled out just a few of the different options as far as our different flanges. I said just a few because there are more than this, but these are some of the common options. Here so we have different options for a splined shaft right here, different diameters and different amounts of teeth for different splined shafts. And then here we have actually a keyway shaft. We have different diameters here. 
And then there are even more options. So when I say this can fit, fit on almost any piece of equipment, I do mean almost any piece of equipment. And these can actually be custom made as well. Um, HD Tech has been a great company to work with as far as um, getting this system easy to put together, easy to assemble, easy to install, easy to use, uh, but also adaptable and adjustable by custom making us different flanges. But the majority of the flanges we have here will fit pretty much anything that you want to put them on. Um, so what are we going to use this for? What would you use this for? What type of piece of equipment would you use this for? Well, um, if you have, you know, a new John Deere Case IH, you know, tractor that has built an auto steer, probably not the system for you. But if you have older pieces of equipment or other brands that don't have a built-in auto steer system, or if that auto system can be added, but it's going to cost you $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 to install and a subscription fee, maybe you should think about this. Starting price on this, $5,000. Everything you see here. And you can install this yourself. And it took us, let's see, about an hour and a half our first time doing it. I'm pretty sure I can do it under hour now, now that I know what I'm doing. Um, so we have guys that have put this on one piece of equipment and decided, you know what, our tillage tractor really could use this too. Instead of moving all of this out of, you know, one, one tractor to another, they're just buying a second system. You can get two or three systems for the price of what one other system might cost you. Okay, I think that's about it for this video. Um, we're going to bring you guys more videos to show you guys how to install this on many different types of equipment, how to use the app and the system and everything else around it. Thanks.